The biggest one that I got was $1.2 million. My net profit at the end, this included my paycheck, by the way, my net profit at the end was $1,400. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the special rags to riches episode <laughs> of Potty Talk here. Hey, I, I love the, the title here. Well, our official title is, you know, how I grew my plumbing business. Mm -hmm. But the fun title is the rags to riches story. Okay. okay? You know, I, I've been talking on Potty Talk. You hear me all talk about, you know, our, our clients, our, you know, private clients, our students in the academy and all that. And we've had, we've had hundreds of success stories. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, I, and I'm proud of that. And I, I don't want to come across as bragging. Okay. But... What I really want is for you to meet some of these people because now yeah. it's so easy to look at them now, mm -hmm. um, especially like who, who we're going to introduce you to here in just a moment, um, Bo and Kimberly uh, McKenzie. Okay. Full speed plumbing. Full speed plumbing. Mm -hmm. All right. A cool couple. All right. We're already very successful. Okay. But they were doing new construction and all that. And they just made a huge, but they weren't making any money. Right. And so does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Okay. I know a lot of us guys, we start, you know, new construction, you know, if I, well, let, let, we're gonna let them tell their them. story. Mm -hmm. All right, so yep. so let, let's get them on here. All right, hey, okay. hey, welcome, uh, Bo and, and um, um, Kimberly McKenzie. All right, here they are, Bo and Kimberly McKenzie. Hey guys, it's good to see you. Hey guys, hey, good to see you. Good to see ya. Oh, I've been looking uh, so much uh, forward to talking mm -hmm. with you guys. But we, we well, we we talk outside of potty talk right. and everything. <laughs> so. Yeah. But I'm so appreciative that you guys are going to spend some time here on Potty Talk. And I really wanted you to meet the Potty Talk audience or for, for the Potty Talk audience, rather, to meet you guys, because I love I love your story. I mean, looking at you guys now and I mean, you look all put look, look how They're clean and shiny. Look, look at they look. I know. Beautiful couple. They have never had a problem once. Not one single problem. No, oh, no. everything right, and yeah. they look all put together. They got they got Speedy behind them there. You know, full speed plumbing. Nitro back there. Nitro. Yeah. I mean nitro. 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 Right. Yeah. nitro. right. <laughs> the name of their plumbing business is Full Speed full Plumbing. Full speed plumbing. Um, out in Anna Cortez, Washington. Correct. Well, it's uh, very good, so, baby. Washington yeah. State. Right. Full speed plumbing, yeah. and their their little guy behind him is is Nitro. Nitro. So, I know. Yes. Speedy. Yes. <laughs> he looks like a speedy, speedy but nitro is yeah, way but better. nitro yes but anyway i love your i love your your story guys why don't, why don't you introduce uh yourselves you know to, to the audience here um you know about you know the company what where you come from you know that kind of thing yeah, yeah okay. when you started yeah, yeah that and then, and then i'm gonna so draw I am, so i am bo mckenzie this is my wife kimberly and we own full speed plumbing in washington state um started um i started in the trades kind of in the tract uh world you know doing tract houses 250 houses five plans over and over and over and over. Sounds and familiar, over. right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, and uh, so when I started my my plumbing business, my first plumbing business, I, I realized that, uh, or I, I hopped right into, you know, what I already knew because I already knew it and uh, realized real quickly there that I could turn revenue in it, but I couldn't keep any of that revenue. So I was like, I'm a smart guy. I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll get into custom houses. So I worked into uh, kind of specs and up into kind of mid-range customs and up into high-end customs. And I've done some pretty substantial projects for some pretty well-known people. Uh, it was considered at one point in time, uh, one of the top uh, premier con uh, custom builders or plumbers in, in uh, Washington state. Uh, and, uh, I, I have to remind myself not to say names because I've signed agreements saying I'm not supposed to say names, but I do it sometimes nope. anyways. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, oops. Um, and uh, and found really quickly all the way up to the very top of the custom uh, plumbing world that uh, that I could make money. I couldn't keep money. So I was like, <laughs> I'm a smart guy. I know what I'll do. If I just get into bigger projects, there'll be money in those. And uh, so moved up into... Um, up into apartment buildings and uh, um, and and so kind of got those going and uh, the the biggest one that I got was uh, 1.2 million dollars my net profit at the end this included my paycheck by the way my net profit at the end was fourteen hundred dollars <laughs> and I'm not, uh, laughing. Well, I'm not laughing at you, you. took advantage of them <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I was making money on that project banking and, uh, that obviously <laughs> put a lot of strain on things you know um uh, running all that and it really was putting a pretty big tear on my wife and I and uh starting to strain our family and and uh and we were we were just, we were disintegrating to be perfectly honest we were just falling apart and uh and i was like i am not a smart guy after all i need to figure something out from somebody who actually knows what they're doing 
So I started searching and actually searching podcasts and came across Body Talk. And uh, and so I listened to one and and was like, hmm, that's interesting. Went all the way back to the very first one, started listening. Ugh. My wife and I, my <laughs> wife and I were actually, uh, um, can, can I be fully transparent? You, yes. uh, my wife and I were actually separated at the time. She was still working with me. Um, but, uh, um, and I will say I made the classic mistake of she was actually working for me, not with me. Um, and it's a uh, nugget and of gold right there. There's a nugget of gold right there. Oh, classic mistake. Don't do that guys. Don't do that. I promise you it will turn out, it will turn out badly. Yeah. So, um, so I started listening to Potty Talk from the first one on and I started telling my wife, you know, um, you got to listen to these people like like this is what we've been doing wrong. You got to listen to these people like they, they know what they're talking about. And uh, for months, I said that she was not going to give me the uh, benefit of of uh, the satisfaction, satisfaction no. of telling me that she was actually listening. But I got a call one day to tell you how broken we were. Twenty six guys. I was still foreman on site. I'll tell you how broken uh, our, our situation was. Mm -hmm. She called me up while I was foreman on one of those apartment buildings and said, uh, and said, uh, we got a meeting with those people from potty talk. And I'm like, I didn't even know you've been listening. She goes, yeah, we got a meeting with them. I'm like, when she goes right now, I'm down in the parking lot, get down here. And I'm like, and, uh, so I think I was a little nicer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he heard. Kimberly. That's what he heard. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, she was nicer. Sure. I'll give her that. Um, but, um, but so so we we got in the meeting and and basically I just uh, I was like hey we're falling apart I need help mm -hmm. I remember Richard I remember Richard asked uh, so why should we take you as a client and uh, I, uh, and and I remember being like please <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know that I said it quite that way but I was like I'll do anything <laughs> well and by the way and that is strength yes, and that uh, is why and that's what and, yeah. and first of all guys thank you for being so transparent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you, you got, you guys are great. And I love that you're sharing because we, we talk to people and we, we see yeah. a lot, you know, that, you know, first of all, you were already, just like I said in the intro, you know, Bo and Kimberly were already successful and everyone's on had, had, a, had a large company, clients, clients doing big stuff up had an operation. I mean, had an operation, right. Yeah. Just, I mean, I mean, they're, they're, they're sharp. And mm -hmm. they, you know, it, it caused pressure. So there was pressures on their marriage, but they gave some insight there that they were, you know, going through, went through, went through some things, which we've all can relate to. Mm -hmm. um, but and it, one reason probably they were going through so, some things is because we weren't making any money. Right. You know, yeah. well, it's so, a lot of pressure on things. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, and I don't want to gloss over that is, you know, might have some plumbing power couples watching. They're in the same position that Bo and Kimberly were might not be separated. Maybe it hasn't gone that far, but there's definitely strain. And, and yeah. Bo and Kimberly, even before you were separated, you know, there was massive strain that then caused the separation. You know, we For years, yeah. Every, hopefully, everybody's heard our story a few times. We were separated at, at, at one point as well. Um, and what leads up to that? It it is um, it's life sucking, right? Yeah. And it's very difficult to focus on your family and then to focus on this business that matters so much. It's your it's your livelihood. It's your income. And then you guys, you, you had twenty six plus employees. Right. It was their livelihoods as well. So, you know, I don't want to gloss over that yeah. so much. It has been a few years. So it, the pain isn't as bad right now yeah. for you guys. Right. But at the time it, it was, it was bad. It was a thing just yeah. again, like us, it was awful. So I just, I want to kind of relate to the other plumbing power couples that might be watching that are in that stage, maybe hopefully long before separation, but are in that stage that the, the business and the toll of it and, and all that yeah. is, is difficult. Um, yes. but as, as we're going to hear from Bo and Kimberly, there is hope. There's definitely oh, hope and, and not necessarily cool. potty talk and million dollar plumber and, and all that. Yes. They used our, our tools and stuff, but beyond that, that there's hope that if Bo, and I'm sure Bo and Kimberly can say this, if their marriage can be restored and renewed from the position they were, they were in then any yeah. marriage can as well. So I, I definitely want to yeah. touch on yeah. that later, but I know we want to talk about some of the plumbing business aspects. Sure. Well, I'm and just Bo, I just, uh, you know, I just want to say, and I don't want to embarrass Bo, but, you know, Bo's a, he's, he's a man's man. You know, mm -hmm. the guy hunts, you know, mm -hmm. he goes out in the wilderness with his own bare hands and his, you know, and a <laughs> knife, knife between his teeth. And he, you know, he's that, he's that kind of guy and he's business. So the guy's yep. sharp and he created, you know, like you said, he's, he's worked, he's built homes and done stuff for, for, for people that we would know. And mm -hmm. we do, you know, um, that, uh, you know, he's, 
He doesn't, they don't want you to know that that's what he did. I mean, so he, some big, I mean, he's done big stuff. They've mm -hmm. done big stuff, but to have what that, the real strength is, is realizing I don't know something. Yeah. And so yep. I like how you joked about it. It wasn't that he was, please take me on. You know, I ask that question the you know, time when I do, and I try to come across when, even in our stuff that we do, do now is why should we take you on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'm looking for, because we talk, we know how, you guys, you know, how, well, you know how it is in the trades. The guys are all tough oh, yeah. and cocky oh, yeah. and all that. You can't teach a guy that anything. They're not, their minds aren't open to anything. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, well, this is how I do it. This is just the way it has to be. The way it's always done. Bo's mind was okay. I'm, I'm no, I'm no, I'm successful. I've, I've done this stuff, but I'm not making any money. So there must be something else that I need to learn. Mm -hmm. That is strength. Yeah. Uh, that is courage. And so we get, you know, you, you did, you, you said you, you, you came on with MDP and all that really yeah. the stuff with MDP and the Academy and all that. It, it's, it's not rocket science. You know, you can talk about that, but it's the attitude that we bring to it and what yeah. we do, you know, what yeah. we do the stuff. Right. So, yep. Right. so you, all right, so we took you on, and I don't, I don't necessarily remember that that part of the. I, we didn't know that they were separated at the time when we met them. I, yeah, we, we didn't. You guys did not. Not, um, not that. Not at that. Not time. at that time. You guys didn't let us know. Okay, so came on, started, started coaching. Right, afraid you wouldn't take us. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that. <laughs> How far broken do you guys actually work with? <laughs> uh, like our our mentor says, Rory Vaden says, you are most powerfully positioned to serve the person <clears throat> you once were. Yep. So you guys were exactly who, who we, we are. are. You're exactly. Yeah. So yes, we would have taken And even now going forward, our personalities, so it's fun. Oh my we, goodness. We do, do we have a, we do now have a friendship uh, beyond, yeah. you know, yeah. million dollar plumber. For and sure. so it's fun. Bo and I are so much alike and Kimberly and Laura are so much alike. And we've had the similar backgrounds Almost of, scary. of separate, <laughs> you know, and yes. So, yes. Right. Okay. So we took you on and then, you know, so you had to go from the mindset of I'm, I'm doing new construction and, and big projects and all of that to what million dollar plumber teaches yep. is residential service customer money sure. in the bank today. What, yeah. how, what was that transition like for you? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I drug my heels for a little bit with with several aspects of it. Uh, you know, the the giving up the security of construction. It's funny. I knew going into MDP that that construction was what was sucking the life out of me, but I didn't want to give it up because the security of having the things trap. booked out and, yep. and and all that, which his, is his real claim, garbage. Yeah, his claim to fame was we're booked out a year and a half. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And now when I hear guys say even a week or two, I'm like, no, don't no. do that. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, yeah, so so yeah, I was I was always very proud of that, and and so giving that up, um, I I uh, had to work through that process was was a little bit tough. And then the other issue that came up was, uh, you know, I had a lot of guys, and I do care for my guys. I mean, immensely. And um, there are a lot of guys that no longer are with us through that transition, and. I, I, the few of whom I was able to maintain pretty good relationships with, I care a lot about them. Uh, in fact, some of the things that hurt me the most are those that don't have good relationships with because of it, but it was killing us uh, and there was just no way we continue, could continue to do it. Which so, is, which means that we would not be there yep. to continue it on, that you can only do that for so long. Yep. So while you're telling yourself that I'm yep. doing this for them. You can only do it yeah. for them so long. So going on from there, I kind of drug my feet for a little while, but um, at my uh, my wonderful, very wonderful governor um, helped me out a lot. I'm in Washington State. If you don't know that I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, my governor shut down, uh, shut down the state's construction for uh, eight weeks. It started as six weeks. He bumped it to a full shutdown for eight weeks. And then he ended up doing uh, like little shutdowns throughout. But what was crazy was I had at that time started because of MDP building a, a, a service side. And, and what was what was just mind boggling to me is I had a bunch of my guys laid off. And yet there was more money in the bank than I had ever had before by the time that that eight weeks um, went by that at eight weeks, I had a meeting with my guys and said, we're not doing construction anymore. We're, we're uh, wrapping out the things that we, the contracts that we can't get out of, we're going to wrap those up and then we're done. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and. Yeah. So how was that with your yeah. guys? Right. Because again, that's a new, that's totally different crews, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so not, so that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not so good. Um, so that created a lot of tensions. Um, and then the it other. Naturally, you naturally lose the ones that. Yeah. 
aren't going to follow you anyway. So it started, well, it started yeah. with, we, we didn't really lose all that money, all that money right then. What happened was it started creating lots of tensions. I started trying to force guys into molds that they didn't want to be in. Mm -hmm. You know, construction guys don't want to do service, most of them. And so I started trying to force guys into molds, which was creating a lot of strain, a lot of stress. Uh, and then um, we we were paying hourly at that time. And and I knew I knew to make this work, I needed to switch to performance pay. So in that whole process, I started what I call very affectionately my 90 days of hell. And, uh, <laughs> and I told my guys that they had 90 days to switch over to peace rate or they could go somewhere else. And um, and that was awesome. Uh, and there was 90 days of just absolute, you know, every time I went to the shop, it was combat. They're, I mean, like, they're ready to lynch you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. It was like it was terrible um, mm. for, for about 90 days. But at the end of 90 days, it actually was wonderful. <laughs> and uh, and it, it took about 90 days. And and in that 90 days, I lost all but one and wow. uh, of, of those 26. However, in that 90 days, by the time it was said and done, I think I was, I had four running trucks mm -hmm. because I was always recruiting. I always. think we did that too, right? And, uh, and so, so I just was recruiting right over the top of guys leaving and, uh, and, and settled out, sold off the excess junker trucks because all of our trucks were absolute trash uh, and, uh, and settled in on, on four trucks and started replacing them with new ones. And uh, wow. so there was about a 90 day transition that was probably, I don't know, what do you think? We started that two, three months after we, we joined MDP. So mm -hmm. I think six months in and and we were not the same business. Uh, wow. in, in that 90 day period of time, we also signed up with Kick Charge, rebranded. Um, it was literally not the same business. And it probably took five to six months. And uh, And what was crazy was by about month eight, we went down to Florida with you guys and my business ran without me and it was fine. Um, so, and that had never yeah. happened before. I mean, you were the no. former. I had never taken a vacation. Before. Nope. Yeah. I, I, I had never taken a vacation more than two days. Mm -hmm. I, I had never right. been. And, and how many years of the plumbing business? We had been in business for six years at that point. Yeah. Wow. And no vacation. Mm -hmm. Right. Making what on the top looks like big dollars. Sure. Yes. But well, we were turning it. Yeah. My last, my last year before you guys, our combined income was 34,000. My my literal floor sweeping lowest to the totem pole apprentices were making more than me. Like, wow. And you were bringing in millions. Yes. Bring right. yeah, 2 million dollars yeah. last year. See that that's what I and, and that's why I love your story because there's a there's a lot of us out there that that come from are that side of things and sadly you know I talk I talk to yeah. a lot of these guys mm -hmm. and they they just they're caught in the trap and they yep. can't figure out why am I not making money. But they yeah. don't have the courage. Yeah. See that's yeah. why I'm hoping they're seeing guys listen to Bo here. Let's face it, home service companies are a dime a dozen. Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. It may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. That's why there's Kick Charge, the industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency who has been instrumental in getting home service providers noticed for over 20 years. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information? Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash kick charge and start getting noticed today. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, th that courage of help me, I'll do whatever you tell me. And that's not how he came across, but that's what I hear. Yeah. And that was, you can tell you, that's what his emotion was. Yeah. That's how he's able to make it through the 90 days of hell. Yeah. Because we don't have that in the brochure. It's simple. All this, it, it, you, the pro yeah, it's, don't it's put simple, that in the brochure. right? <laughs> but you got to have the guts. You got to have yeah. that fight in you that yeah. can turn and, and, and change things and put up with all the crap. If, if if the guys that aren't like I'll do whatever don't have the fight they yeah. they they can't they can't make the turn yeah. all right so but you made you made the turn you survived yep. I survived but wound up thriving well and yep. during that time I mean you just said it you you did a whole branding change right, right. so you're going yeah. through a major transition of yeah. a completely bis different business model and your your marriage is trying to heal right mm -hmm. you guys decided okay we're 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 burning the ships we're in this together so trying to heal right. um, a marriage. Yep. <laughs> and then, you know, the brand, I mean, the whole thing, the branding, the whole business, all of it, all at the same time, it's, it's amazing. So what I want everybody to see is, as you're sitting here watch, watching Bo and, and Kimberly and thinking, okay, well, they got it all together. I mean, they really did go through hell. They really, really yeah. did. But what they also, what makes them stand apart, they never quit. Right. Mm -hmm. They never quit. 
they had yeah. some hellish days and we were a part of those. I mean, we, we were yeah. pretty close during that time. So, and we remember those times, but they never quit. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the differentiator right, right there. Yeah. So in, in looking I'm at that reminded that that like Normandy and, and Iwo Jima, you know, the, you don't you don't get the moment of, re, of of people remembering the flag. You know, the 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 Asian campaign, they raised the flag on every island. You only remember Iwo Jima. Why? Because it was a bad one. <laughs> like, right. The only yep. reason why a battle ever gets remembered is because of how bad it was. How bad it and, was. Oh, Gettysburg, I mean, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only reason why it gets remembered is because of how bad it was. So, you know, there's all kinds of battles nobody even remembers. But but if you'll, as a married couple, choose to fight a battle together and together, not with each other. Um, against each other. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <laughs> uh, if you'll do that, there are flags to raise. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's good. Well, what? That. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, so and there's a lot. There's so much there. Mm -hmm. But what is something, what was through this transition and, you know, coming on board and, or, you know, is there, was there an epiphany or was there an something? Aha moment. You know, an aha moment Ish. or something that said, Ooh, I would, this is mm -hmm. it. This clicked for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would say the biggest aha moment was that statement that he had already made about the me working for him and then me working with him. Yeah. When we started making all of those huge decisions of changes for our business in rebranding and yeah. changes, switching over to residential versus new construction, all of that, we had to decide to make those decisions together. And it was one of the first times in many, many years, even though we have been married for 20 years now. Mm -hmm. um, and at that time, it was around 16 or 17 yeah. years. Um, you know, we were no longer making decisions together. Mm -hmm. And at this, yeah. you know, we had to decide, okay, our, you know, what is the right kind of brand to make? And um, part of that was uh, you know, you Bring teaching us, us yeah. yeah, you teaching us how to yeah. have a combined why, yeah, how to, um, how to actually understand that this is for the both of you together because yeah. we were no longer doing things together, yeah. even though we were together. Yeah. So that was a big, mm -hmm. that was a big one for me for yeah. sure. And now you can say, um, you guys, you spend the vast majority of your time together, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. And you wouldn't have it any other way where yeah. you guys were separated. <laughs> three yeah. years ago right and now here you stand with a, yeah. a solid marriage and you enjoy being together um it's yeah. not perfect all the time we get it you're married it's, it's oh, whatever yeah. right but what you know what a difference yeah. uh, and having that type of attitude that that spills over to your business what yeah. uh, certainly your family you guys have two boys right. but then mm -hmm. spills over to the business which then affects the families that you serve with within your um within your business right absolutely yeah for sure yep. yeah both well, internal customers mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. well I, I love love seeing a dynamic here if you guys are watching and if you're listening to the podcast and so you can you can hear it and and you know i relate we see so you know we call them plumbing power couples you know for mm -hmm. a reason for a reason right gang there's there's just something about when you know the husband and wife work together yeah and, you know for the same thing and for the same why same reason it's just it's it's un, it's unbeatable right. not only unstoppable it's 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 unbeatable mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love, you know, I can see you know, I, we have history here. So I, I, I get Bo because Bo and I a lot of like, we're both the talkers and sellers yeah. do we all that, but, the, but the power really comes from those who are sitting next to us. Yeah. You know, those who know, you guys know, we, we have a more, oh, yeah. you, you know, I'm the million dollar plumber and the success I've had for a main reason is who sits beside me. Yeah. Right. And Bo, I know <laughs> <laughs> who sits beside you. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, you so, can so, right. You know, <laughs> We and all I, know. Yeah, we all. Know and I'll gladly, sure. you know, and we claim that we claim our treasure. You know, that's what makes us kings. You know, I'm just, so, I'm just a crazy dreamer. None of it would happen without her, really. I, hey, I, I, I so get that, and that's what, that's what the business needs, and so it's yep. a very powerful thing. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's just so cool. Also, yeah. if you guys are watching that, you're, you're seeing them two together and yeah. you're listening to, to the two of them together. Yeah, if you guys are listening, go, go, go find the podcast uh, right. out on YouTube uh, so you can yeah. see it as well. So, yeah. so yeah. no, that that was a great. So. And, all and that to those strong men out there, be be strong enough to admit where your weak points are and realize your wife probably is strong in those. Exactly. That's that's so true because opposites attract, right? I mean, that's just not a saying for a reason. It's a true, it's a true reality. Opposites attract. So normally the the husband, the man has these qualities, the woman has a, a whole other set of qualities. You bring those together instead of butting heads. I mean, yeah. the, again, you're unstoppable and unbeatable. Right. And the business needs. Both. those both those qualities mm -hmm. and so like your your epiphany or your aha of, of the idea Bo, of not working for me 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My wife's not working for me. She's working with me. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, that That's a very powerful understanding. It changes yeah. the dynamics. Right. For sure. And yes. So I, I love that, guys. I love that you pointed that out. So, you know, we have, so the, there's many that are listening or watching that are just like you guys yeah. doing the new construction are successful. Like I got to tell you guys are successful. You know, I kind of joke about it because after, you know, I'm doing million dollar houses and we know, I know what that means. You're not making any money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but there is, that is success. I'm proud. You know, if you, if you're doing that kind of, you know, new construction and doing all, there is something to be proud of. Yeah. And so we have those that are listening and watching just like that. What and guys in, in your experience and going through all that, what is some advice that you can give for that, you know, you know, that plumber, business owner, a couple? Yeah. Yeah. You're speaking to um, Bo and Kimberly of three years ago. Yeah. yeah. So what I what I would say a couple couple of angles of approach on that. First thing I would say is what's your time worth and what's your freedom worth in that, right? Because the three year ago me worked 80 hours a week yeah. every week. And that was just in the field. Then I'd come home and do stuff beyond that. Uh, and, uh, and that was just normal. So what's your time worth, right? Putting in, but then the other thing that I think I would, that I would say, and I'm far more, uh, analytical and I'm not an analytical person, Richard, you know that, but uh, guys, if you're out there doing construction and you're turning lots of money, I I highly recommend that you stop looking at the top line and actually look at that RE what's your retained earnings. And if your RE is not decent and not paying you well, you're not making money like there you're you're good you can you can add to increase scale that all you want all it's going to be is just more more consumed and more of your time it's all it's going to happen and and if it consumes more of your time and you're already consumed on all of your time what's going to happen with your family what's going to happen with the things that matter and 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 in reality what's going to happen with your body because Every piece of equipment has to make payoff. This piece of equipment too, and you don't get to pay this one off until you can retire, until you can afford to stop physically using it. So are you going to be able to make payoff before you break it? Because that was a lot of what I started learning was I started breaking down. And I, I'm not an old man by any stretch, but I started breaking down. It was like, I'm not making it. Like, well, I'm just the stress of it, right? Off. Just as not only the job and all that entails, but just the stress. The stress is yes. wear and tear on your body. And oh, you yeah. had, again, stress from all angles, right? Yeah. At home, at yeah. home and, and business. Yep. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. What, what about you, Kimberly? The tidbit I would give is it's short and sweet, but I would just say don't wait. Yeah. If you're in the construction world and you have done that you've reviewed and, and you're not making any money and you do find yourself at the end of every single day, so overwhelmed by the stress that you're snapping at everyone around you don't wait there are so many success stories out there of people who have changed and while the transition might be a little bumpy it is worth it every single time anything that's worth doing is going to take some effort if it were easy everyone would be doing it Mm -hmm. right on that's that's so good look at what's on the other side of this the decision right in the other the other side of what the transition is right so when you guys were there and and ready to make the transition and going through the hill. You kept your eye on your why, but kept your eye yep. on what's on the other side of this, right? Yep. Don't don't be focusing on the the crap that you're going through and the hell that you're going through. What's on the other side? On the other side is no longer working eighty hour weeks. What's on the other side is um, I finally might make more than my apprentice and my yeah. CSRs. Could right? be nice. <laughs> yeah, could be kind of nice. I'm finally going to have a profit. For yeah. my business, I'm finally yeah. going to have the time that I can spend. I love what you said. Um, what's your freedom worth? What is your mm-hmm. freedom worth? You started a plumbing business for a reason. And I guarantee on you, it wasn't so you could work 80 hours and not have any profit and make $30,000 a year. Right. Mm-hmm. That's that's not why you started the business. We hear all the time. The reason I started a plumbing business was to have more freedom. Well, take a look at your business. Do mm-hmm. you have that freedom? And right. if you don't, you got to figure out why, because it's yeah. not going to get any better. It's not yeah. magically a year from now, ding, you know, magic pix- mm-hmm. pixie dust falls around and you have all this wonderful freedom. It doesn't happen that way. It's going to get worse. Just like Bo said, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. So you find yourself working 80 hours a week. I, I love you, baby. I know. I love you. We just have, we get to comment. I was just talking about oh. guys. I just talking about the guys of, you know, uh, you know, the importance of having our wives and, I, I do. I do read the comments. I get some comments. Everyone's why I get negative comments. Imagine that. What? You know, Who why? doesn't love you, yeah. baby? Is everybody, why, are hate, why are you hating on me? But I got one of the comments who said, oh, okay, enough, enough with your wife already. Can we have someone else. What? And I wanted to, I wanted to respond back and say, first of all, she knows more about plumbing than you do. 
<laughs> probably even just the, the, the plumbing itself, not to mention plumbing business. And that's why I have her on. And that's why she's co-hosting. Oh, that makes me know, want to be on every single show from the rest of my life. But that, that's a rarity. That Haters going to hate. Oh, you know. mm. I don't care. But, Hello to whoever you are. Thanks for tuning right. in again because I know you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> but it's sort of sitting on this side and Bo and I both know, you know, how much, uh, you know, our wives are, yeah. are a part of really a reason for the success of our businesses. Yeah. Thank you, baby. And not only our lives. So appreciate that. Well, I love it. What, what's on the, what, what's your freedom worth guys? Let's you know, yeah. focus on that. I think that's the, the main nugget out of mm -hmm. um, this, yeah. this interview. A huge sure. nugget of gold there. Yeah. Oh guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to share your story and for being so right. open and transparent. Yes. You right. know, and uh, I, I, I know your hearts. We know your hearts um, that, that you just, you want to give it to others. Yes. And, um, and so I know that's why you were so transparent and, and sharing. So again, yep. I appreciate you taking the time and absolutely so. thanks for allowing us to yeah appreciate yeah. well you know we yeah. love you guys and we're, we're super proud of all you guys have accomplished but mostly what we love is that you guys are um not just a plumbing power couple but a power couple together and that your marriage is solid your family's intact um get your boys getting ready to be up and out and you're gonna be empty nesters which is the best season ever um but yes. i know right. that's what we love our, our hearts are definitely for for you guys yeah. as a couple and we love seeing you guys together naked hunting i don't know i'm just, I'm just putting it out there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking no. Well, I guess we. Not, I think fine. Kimberly will have yeah. nothing to do with that. We're both thinking. I can tell Richard doesn't hunt a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna invite you sometime, but, yeah, but I, I guess I, maybe I, not now. Like okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah probably not. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll we'll end on that note. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> hey guys, great seeing you. Thanks Thank again. Thank you guys so much. You well. Good to be All here. All right. Here bye bye. Bye. All right. Weren't they cool? All right. We just love them. And they, they hold a special place in our heart just yeah. for all the things that they've been through and have overcome and conquered. So, you know, that that's one of the things I didn't expect, you know, when we, you know, we, we did the coaching and all that is, um, you know, the I, relationships, I love the relationships right. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we get close and that, that is something that happens, you yeah. know, um, cause like they mentioned, they came down to Florida. We have retreats. In fact, the taping of this, we got a retreat coming up in couple, uh, Cancun, Cancun, Mexico. Yeah. Um, here in just a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And so we, we do a couple of retreats a year and, and it's just great time together. And, mm -hmm. and, um, but I love their story and I'm, and I'm glad because I know there's a lot of us out there who started like a new construction with the idea and they were so transparent, of, you know, they, they were, I mean, they were doing big stuff. Right. All right. But weren't making any money. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you relate to that? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, and I love how they shared, they were transparent about their relationship. We, yep. we experienced that stress. I, I know a lot of you out there do Are too. Probably listening um, and, and feeling yeah. that as well. There, there's a reality there, but, but to see them now, I mean, you, you think, well, yeah, they're all put together and all that. <laughs> well, of course, but it wasn't that way three years ago. <laughs> yep. So yeah, yeah. Get, get, hopefully you get some golden nuggets out of that. Um, right. And again, if it's, if you're in that same position, there is hope on the other side. That's what we're yes. going to offer up. So yes, there we go. In mm -hmm. fact, on that note, mm -hmm. if you are looking, if, if, you, if you're in a position to say, I don't know something, mm -hmm. And right. I, I'm, I'm desperate. I'm and hungry. I'm hungry to learn. Mm. I'm, I'm hungry to get out of the situation I, that I'm in. Mm. All right. Let's have a conversation. Mm. Just, a, just a conversation. That's all it is. It's all right. Um, simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call mm -hmm. to schedule your free strategy call. Okay. We'll just have a conversation, yeah. find out where you're at, what's going on, mm -hmm. and then point you in the right direction. Yep. Okay. So there we go. Okay. All right. Great. All right. Love them. <laughs> I do. All right. Hey, love you too. But before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. <laughs>